Hi, welcome back. It is okay, time for so my boy. Your boy. Barry. Your Barry. Why are you saying it like that? Don't point that flashlight at me. If I shoot him, do I get a game over? Yes. Hey, Al. I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Yeah, maybe you won't doubt me again. <laughs> Just point the light directly. Send Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives at the local newspaper. Perhaps he could learn something, anything, about the island and the cabin. Yet it disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Uh huh. Writer's block. Ah! For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now it's happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Cool. That looks like such a comfortable jacket. <laughs> this is Rose. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl! <laughs> Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in a trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. Bye now. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome to the Odeer Diner. Oh, no. Good girl. Oh, dear. Welp. Yeah. <laughs> huh. In fact, I think this is actually like an end chapter, like, flyby animation. Oh, so I think it? we just ended, yeah, the second chapter. Okay. <laughs> yep. Because <clears throat> oh that feels like the goodness. sort of twist that would okay. be at the end of a TV show, you know? Yeah. All right. All right, we'll see y'all in the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. That's it for today. See you next time, kids. Oh, all right. <clears throat> goodness. End of episode two. <laughs> okay, and I think we determined last time that this, it says skip, but it does just mean move on mm -hmm. to the next. Okay. Yeah. Previously on Alan Wick. Alice been kidnapped. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see her again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn, Barry, they'll kill her. They are flying through the my lines quick. I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote. That's coming true before... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, it's going quick. <laughs> I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Okay, so you said you think there's six episodes. Yeah. Oh, she get the ma... No, okay. No, she's resourceful. I told you. You were too hard on her. Listen, I found all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah? Uh, yeah, you do it. <laughs> the sheriff? Yeah. He's anxious He's to see anxious. you. Oh, just sorry, said. I thought that was Barry talking. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so. We're right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? So now we're gonna go talk to. Howie, voice the sheriff. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Wait. <laughs> I. They don't do a good job of subtitling everything. No, they don't. <clears throat> I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard you on the radio and that you were visiting. Well, I'll show you to her trailer. That Rose. She's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff in the local newspaper's archives. The place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this. Most of the stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Oh, good. <clears throat> well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I don't hold that sort of whatever. <laughs> anyway, there was an island there, owned by this guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found make him out to be some famous writer, but a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Or I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Hmm. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm, my brain's putting a pin in that. He always wanted to walk badly. Now he does. Now he can. <laughs> Fuck, what was that? That was West of Loathing, wasn't yep. it? <laughs> it gets better. A local girl, Barbara Yeager, drowned and called her leg just a week earlier. Sure, Yeager is a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy. She's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jaeger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of breakdown. Cool. Uh... He was just uh, throwing something away, I think, or getting something out of there. Getting something out of the trash? Small town. <clears throat> okay. So random thermos I could pick up. Maybe garden thermos, sandbox thermos. I think there's a thermos inside. Or is it over there on the? Where? Oh, he's right here. It's fucking fast. We're just here to talk to her, pal. <clears throat> oh, that's not a thermos. <laughs> hey, anything can be a thermos if you try hard enough. True. Okay, uh... And I think Rose's trailer is adorable. Oh, there's a thermos. Found a thermos. <laughs> I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Rose's thermos. What's she gonna do about it? Knock, knock. Hi. Welcome to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Yeah? Rose? You have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, Yes? Yes? Please, come in. Uh, I don't wanna. Hey, this is really good. <clears throat> Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry, she doesn't have anything. Yeah. Hey, hey, Al. Al, what's? Whoa. Thud. Oh, it's funny, Coffee. What? <sighs> this game always finds fun ways to get you back into nighttime. Oh, good. The last time you were just waiting all day <laughs> for the guy. Yeah. Do me a favor, don't, just don't pour the remainder of the coffee directly on my... <laughs> uh, it's coming. coming. Hiding in my barber skin in two weeks to stop. Huh? Who's... You must turn the lights on. It's the, uh, the diver that was talking to you at the beginning of the game. I promised I'd come visit you. Oh, no, that's the woman. Wife. You must finish what you started. How did I start? I insist. You must turn the lights on. Okay. Turn the light on. But I need you to not look at me like that. Back to work. Hum -a 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 -a. Yeah? Rose's room is very, very pink. Rose, <laughs> you wanna you wanna talk about some things? Can't tell reality from dream anymore. But it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances. Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Huh. So, Thomas Zane, Barbara Yeager... And yeah, <laughs> I love this. Just photographs of the actor. Oh uh, yeah, the, uh, oh the 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 <clears throat> Alan Wake actor. Yep. His name Ilka Vili. Yeah. I think, okay. <laughs> Barry, you good? Rose took a day from me. I had less than twelve hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. All right. Well, first or things Barry. first. Thank you. This is mine now. 
Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get for you today? Coffee? I couldn't work out much hay for Rose. Some had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's special? Oh boy! Refill's free! Thank you. Have a nice day. Give me a refill Come on that back coffee. Soon. Can, can I... That coffee did seem pretty good. Can I suck the coffee out the carpet? Rug coffee? Come on, Barry. <laughs> Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Okay. You may right. just have to leave him. Yeah, all right. I'm <laughs> what money. He's talking. Oh, it's Barry. That's Barry. <laughs> so handsome. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I love Barry so much. <sighs> Barry, you absolute goober. Okay. Don't you mean legend? My gun and flashlight were gone. I have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There's no time to waste. So I'm going to stand here. So I'm going to waste time reading this paper. Rant. Oh, Randolph, that was that one guy. Yeah. The the uh, limp-legged guy. And as he's <laughs> describing the stuff, as uh, Barry's telling us the thing, mm -hmm. I'm trying to focus on the exposition that Barry and Randolph are giving. And the entire time, I'm just remembering that one Twitter post that makes the rounds every now and then that says, if I have to follow an NPC that, that moves... Faster than my walking speed, but slower than my running speed. You are not allowed to make games for a year. And I'm just thinking of that because I keep having to like run up and catch him and just stop. <laughs> run up and catch him and stop. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That, that little smile she had, how she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past their normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. I'm just there, all right? Drinking rug coffee. Yeah. Okay? I don't want to hear it. All right. Where's, where's my gun? Where's my flashlight? I, w I want to raid the other the other trailers for, for thermoses. And, There's got to be some Second Amendment around here somewhere. And, <laughs> and manuscript pages. Got to find a way to get Barry into a car. All right. Are any forklifts, wheelbarrows, anything that'll lift this heavy ass over? Random hole in the fence. Uh, Wait, what? There's a radio there. Radio there. Turn on. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. And let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all... Tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. Is it just me? Well, perhaps it is, but I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on K KBFFF. Hey, Pat, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, I can't sleep either, you know? I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... A little fast. Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a, you know, an argument with Danny. You know, Danny, and then I got in trouble with the law. You know, and I'm, I'm just, well, is that the guy that was in the jail cell. I think so. Okay. <laughs> the drunk guy. Yeah. That wasn't drunk. I had heard something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's. You know, Danny's my best friend, and they let me out on bail today, and now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, there's something in the air tonight, man. He's worried his buddy's not coming home. Hmm. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? Uh, I don't know. You know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta... I gotta, uh... I think I better go. Well, Walt, maybe. No, thanks, Pat. Ha, <laughs> well, good luck to you. Well, hang in there. Let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? That was a very abrupt stop to whatever he was saying. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, can I can I enter the, the trailer and take your guns? Weapon inspection. Right. 
Need to make sure you don't have any weapons in there that I can I can take. You know, I'm keeping it safe from thieves. I would like to demonstrate how not like to menace me. the countryside with your firearm by menacing the countryside with your firearm. Oh my goodness. Do as I say, not as I do. All right, you know what? I'm going to go this way because the camera's getting a little shaky and I'm a little worried I'm going to get stuck in the geometry or something. Yeah. All right, so there's... A boat? This was not here before, was Oh, no, it? the boat was there before. Oh, it was? Yep. Okay, so I guess I took this way around then? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, a lot of this, I was trying to soak up exposition, and, uh, a lot of the scenery was not, wasn't, wasn't sticking in my head. Also, I don't <clears throat> like how much, um, how much nothing there is here without yeah. my flashlight and gun. <laughs> I think that way towards a truck. Yeah, well, I'm just kind of, thermos! Thermos! Drink, drink! So I just look for any extras, any manuscript pages, any guns, any flashlight, any loose, on the ground. loose boards, you know, lumber for, um... Yeah, just like stacks of pallets. Pallets on a staircase? What? Okay. Alright. Oh. Yeah? Just kicking logs now? Apparently. I thought it was a trash can. <laughs> okay. Did I already... You already went that I way. I already checked that way. Okay. Is that a person way over there? Yeah. Oh, that's the, the Randolph guy, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah. It looks like that jacket he was wearing. Okay. Alright, I'm assuming I can't really do anything here. I just gotta... Yeah, I think you've got everything you need. Is that a flare and yet, in the chair? Is it what? Is that a flare in that chair? No. No. There's boots on the ground. Just some discarded boot. You gonna get it now? Oh. Oh, Cutscene. shit. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale. FBI, oh, get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle. I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay where you are, Spilling. Dang, okay. <laughs> yep. He's shooting with a civilian right between them. Right! <laughs> Bro, chill the fuck out! <laughs> Ooh. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Good lord! <laughs> Civilians, what are those? Holy shit! I hate to leave Barry behind, but there's no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. White! Come on, make it easy on us! Get after him. Don't let him get away. Okay, so, oh, shit. Yeah, you're running from cops. Okay. Well, I saw the yeah. the point thing on the map, and usually that's when it has the the mark thing. It's usually like, hey, that's where target thing. Like, it had, that was where the birds were during yeah. the bird fight, I guess, for lack of a better term. All right, actually, we're at a, about that point, so I can run yeah. for the Oh, shit. This is a, a kind of a lengthy running sequence. So you oh, may is wanna, it? Yeah, we may want to just pause it here and get back on the run from the cops. Super yeah. cool. Yeah, criminal.